Okay, so this is the final question on the uh, downloadable worksheet, and this is question 15. Now, it is a little bit tricky, but it's only by virtue of the fact we've got a whole load of ones and zeros to deal with. It just makes it look a little bit more difficult, I think. But effectively, we would still apply the same principles, that the decimal point at the moment is at the end of each of these numbers, but in the first question, the decimal point has moved once and twice, so it's moved two places over towards me, so I'm going to move it two places over towards me, and that's going to be 110.11. Okay, now uh, question B and question C, again I'm going to just depart a little bit from this, because effectively uh, I would use uh, estimation skills to work out both of these, because 0 0.91 is really, really close to 1. So 1 times, uh, let's say, 120,000 is going to give us 120,000. So I've used this digit and I've used this combination of digits. So I'm looking at that and my answer to this is going to be as close as I can get to 120,000. Bear in mind, all I'm doing is I'm just giving myself a good idea of where the decimal point is going to be. So I'm going to use these digits and I'm going to make this 110,000 and 110. So in other words, I'm going to put another zero on the end of there and that will be the correct answer on this one. So it's a little bit tricky because of the zeros and the ones that we've got here. Okay, the last one, again, I'm going to use exactly the same principle that this is really close to 10 and I'm going to divide by, again, really close to 10, so I get an answer of about 1. Well, the numbers I've used are this set of digits, this set of digits, so the final set of digits is that one, so my answer to that would be 1 point. To one. Now I appreciate that using estimation skills in order to calculate these isn't uh, quite mathematical, although estimation is a really good mathematical uh, way of doing things, but it does, um, it does get you through to the correct answer. And providing you've got just a little bit of confidence in the way that you're doing your calculations, you should be okay on these. Please do click on the link below download the questions, have a go at them. I will also post the answers on the site as well, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.